Khloe Kardashian responds to Trump's alleged comments during her time on The Apprentice in 2009 and shows everyone what it means to be a good American. Chloe has a lot to say about Trump after some of his former staffers spilt the tea on what he had to say about her when the cameras weren't rolling. Well, Donald Trump is in the hot seat again. Reports came out over the weekend that Khloe Kardashian's appearance on season eight of The Apprentice really bothered Trump. In an interview with Huffington Post, an editor from the show says he basically wanted to just get rid of her. He called her a piglet. He goes on to say that Trump even asks, what is this? We can't even get the hot one? Ouch. Well, these are just allegations from one editor, right? Nope. Multiple staffers have confirmed that he said something similar to this. Another source even says that when they fired her, it wasn't on merit, it was on him not liking her. They said that Trump went to the staff and asked, what's the reason we can get her off the show? Now we know that Trump isn't afraid to speak his mind, but neither is Chloe. In an interview with LA Times, she says, I didn't think he was saying those things about me, but he says those comments about a lot of women, really derogatory things, Someone who is that simplistic to judge things off of surface is not someone I want running my country. Now, Chloe, like most of the Kardashians, is used to being criticized for her image, but she doesn't have time to focus on Trump's alleged comments because she's focusing on becoming a business mogul herself. In addition to her reality shows, writing books, and working out, Chloe just officially launched her Good American Denim line during an event hosted by Nordstrom at The Grove in LA. This premium line is size inclusive and available exclusively at Nordstrom and Nordstrom.com. When talking about her line, she told E, I think the selling point for me was having a really wide range of sizes and not trying to segregate people into shopping the plus size. I really wanna break down those barriers and have a denim line for real women. When I used to shop for premium denim at high-end boutiques, they would go up to a size eight or 10. I want to be able to have denim because even if you're a little bigger, you still want to be trendy and cute and show off your curves. Now the jeans will be priced between 149 and 205 and when you purchase your jeans, you can officially be part of the Good Squad. Now what's the Good Squad? According to Chloe, the Good Squad, which includes her BFF Khadija and Malika, Jordan Woods, Gabby Gregg and more, is a group of badass women who are individuals, they're confident within themselves, and she says, enough of this cookie cutter crap. There is no one size fits all. There you go, Chloe, you tell them. And when it comes to Donald's comments and bullying in general, Chloe says, I'm a tough cookie. 90% of the time, criticism doesn't bother me. I can take it. So if that's what it takes to get even just this little group of people to realize how shady and bad and negative that one person is, I can take it. And you can take a stand against bullying too. There's a new emoji in your keyboard that you may not know about. It's the witness emoji, which acts as a signal to others that you've seen bullying and that you won't stand for it. So what you can do is go to eyewitnessbullying.org for more information and find it in your emoji keyboard. But before you do that, go ahead and let us know what you think about Chloe's comments and her new denim line in this comment section below. And then click right over here to see some of your faves experience laser hair removal over on Beauty Tripping. It's a good video, I promise. Thanks so much for watching Clever News. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm your host, Emil Innis Jr. You can follow me on the gram and Twitter at Emil Innis Jr. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Bye.